Alright guys, so, I'm back, again, anyways, now that 2014 is finally, well, almost over, it's pretty much just, um, you know, it's almost the same, you know, what, but this time we're doing things a little bit differently this year, by the way, my stuffed animals, well, they're gone now, okay, I fired them, but I still provide them, all the stuff they need, okay? We were practicing, okay? But then, Preen Plup, yes, Piplup evolved, but evolves into an Empoleon and quit. Wally, stuck in outer space. Rex, don't ask. Anyways, let me show you the movies of 2014. Anyways, that those are the f are the ones that came out this year. Anyways, anyways, yes. There's also the Pokemon the Cocoon of Destruction, which I did not include because that is more of an independent film. And you guys know I do not do independent films. Now, anyways, let's flip them over. Yes, that's why I didn't show you. Let me rearrange it. Anyways. So you guys are wondering, what is... How am I going to do it this time? Well, now I'm going to arrange it from top five worst, honorable mention, or mentions. Because sometimes there's 12 animated films each year, which I uh, I saw all of them, okay? So don't ask me about any I missed, okay? So, anyways, then I do the top five best, then tell you what came, what's up for next year. So, anyways, you saw that last year, well, according to, if I were to put it all, my number five worst is Epic. For last year, though. But my real one. Okay, let me get the marker and show you how I rank it. Okay? The real number five worst, which is obviously just for this year, okay? It doesn't mean the fifth worst animated film ever, okay? So don't leave it in the comments. Because it's not the worst one ever. By the way, not all of them on the worst list are bad, okay? So, so, be prepared for that. Anyways, number five worst is the Penguins of Madagascar. Like I said, not all of them are bad. If I were to rank it, I'd give it an eight out of ten. There we go. That, there we go. That's how I would rank it. <sighs> you know. 
But the problem with Penguin Sub... Oh, by the way, I'm sorry I keep spoiling it every time you watch it, okay? I won't leave spoilers anymore, alright? Anyways, so Penguins of Madagascar. This was not really a bad film. I really enjoyed it, as you can tell from the, sto from the score. But if you're wondering, how could an 8 out of 10 make the worst list? Well, the thing is that it's not that really that it's bad. It's just how they handle it. Like, they rush it a little bit too much. Like, they go from being in Antarctica as kids to... To being at the circus, to being captured by a squid, to, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Let's work. And then they just put all these kind of action scenes and jokes, which, which just put it there. Like, they put it every, like, literally, like, almost every ten minutes, there's an action scene. And every, like, almost every minute, there's a joke, too. But, however, the jokes do work. Like, it could be really funny at times, and then it could go down. But, but other than that, the animation is completely good. Like, because, you know, the action scenes are awesome, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyways... So that's it for for the for the penguins of Madagascar. Anyways, let me look for the next one. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, okay? All right, number four, worst. And last year it was Freebirds, but now for this year it is Planes Fire and Rescue. Like I said, it's not bad. Okay, okay, so don't be yelling at me in the comments. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let me just rank it. Yes, I know. By the way, there's a lot of 8 out of 10, so be prepared. So, 8 out of 10. But what is wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Okay, the story is weak, I mean, and the story, like, the story can be pretty predictable, that's what, also what I forgot to mention from the penguins, not only that, but, well, for some, well, but, if this is an 8 out of 10, what was my, what was the original planes, a 6, but, I feel like I've been a little bit too harsh in it in the 2013 review, so I'll let it slide. Okay. If you're wondering, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm doing it in parts, well, I'm trying to make it, make each, of, each one 10 minutes, okay? So, you know, we gotta get through the time as good as we could, you know. Anyways. So yeah, the anim even though the animation is good, the backgrounds still suck. Yeah. So at least the characters are a little bit more likable than before, though, too. Right? Right? Okay. Let's move on. What? Oh, by the way, Cars 3 is coming out in 2018. Let's move on. Move on. Come on, why is there so many best? Alright, number three, worst. My last one was Walking with Dinosaurs. By the way, if you... If you remember, I did not put that one there. And I... Because I didn't see it yet, but I saw it. But, no. I figured it was, was better than I thought it would be. So, number three, worst is Rio 2. Not just like planes, fire and rescue, and penguins of Madagascar. 
It is not really that bad, okay? Anyways, it's time. Alright, so. I give it a 7.5 out of 10, okay? Not really. It's it's not really bad. But, once again, the story is weak. The animation looks really nice, but... But there's not really that much development between the characters. The story... Oh my gosh. Not really that it's terrible. But it, it's kind of okay. What? <laughs> sort of like mediocre-ish. For the, but for the songs, they're still good. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Okay? Alright, that's it for part one. Alright. I'll see you next time in part three. See you later.